Hey y'all, it's Tony from Tony'sHealthTips.org and I'm here to talk to you today about oatmeal, which is a staple of my diet and I want to tell you why I think that oatmeal should also be a staple of your diet. Before we talk about that though, I want to make sure and go ahead and, and throw out some disclaimers. If you do end up going to buy some oatmeal after you watch this video, make sure it's not from a large company, make sure that it's organic and probably better off not heating it because it's going to be a little bit uh, nutritious if you just eat it without heating it up, okay? So one of the reasons that I love oatmeal is it's really inexpensive and it can be a staple of your diet because this one pound bag of organic oatmeal costs $4.30 from my local grocery store, not on sale or anything, okay? I'd say probably a realistic serving size, probably about a half pound of oatmeal, which is like a good amount, pretty filling. Um, is going to cost you, cut that in half because it's a pound bag, that's going to cost you uh, $2.15-ish, okay? That's pretty inexpensive for an organic meal that, as I'll explain shortly, is really nutritious. Now, granted, oatmeal doesn't have the best taste, so you're probably going to want to add some things into it, which will increase the cost a little bit. But for the base of your meal to be a little over $2 for a full organic meal is pretty darn inexpensive. So that's one reason to love it right off the bat. Another reason to love it is just go ahead and take a look at this label here. What do you got? You got seven grams of protein per serving, okay? You've got five grams of fiber per serving. But look at the serving size here. It's kind of unusual. They're saying you're gonna get nine servings out of this. Like I said before, two or three is probably realistic. So for the sake of argument today, let's go ahead and stick with that, that number two, that you're gonna get two servings out of this. If you do the math with the seven grams of protein, okay? A half bag of this, is gonna be 31 and a half grams of protein, okay? Compare that to a burger, a beef burger of like medium cut leanness is 20 grams of protein in a quarter pounder. Go ahead, throw like all the fixins and stuff on there, throw your, your bread, your mayonnaise, uh, make it a full burger, you're gonna get up to about 27 grams of, of protein in a burger with everything on it. Compared to a meal of oatmeal with nothing on it yet, and it's 31 and a half grams of protein. Absolutely fantastic. So then go ahead and take a look at our fiber content here. Five grams of fiber. When we uh, do the math again, and we're gonna go ahead and, and eat a half bag of this, 22 and a half grams of fiber. A medium apple, according to the Mayo Clinic, has about five grams of fiber. So you'd have to eat like more than four apples to get the fiber um, that is, <coughs> excuse me, that's going to be in one meal of oatmeal, which is pretty phenomenal. And then one of the more underrated pieces of oatmeal, look at our iron content here, okay? 15% of our uh, daily intake of iron in one of those, remember, really small serving sizes. So if you eat two thirds of this bag, maybe say two meals of oatmeal in a day, you're already going to meet your iron requirement for the day, which is really exciting because, you know, uh, vegetarians and vegans are always getting slammed for how do you get your protein? I already explained that. How do you, uh, how do you make sure that you're not anemic? You're going to be anemic. Uh, where do you get your iron? Um, oatmeal addresses both of these points. This makeup here is absolutely fantastic. But more than that, there's also some other good stuff in oatmeal, okay? There's some antioxidants in oatmeal. Uh, we've got manganese in oatmeal, um, phosphorus. Both of those things are really good for bones. Selenium, all right, listen loud and clear. If you're one of those folks that say, I have a family history of cancer and I'm destined to get cancer because of my genes, guess what selenium does? Selenium can repair your DNA. So there's a lot of folks out there who are saying that selenium is actually a cancer fighter Whereas, let's go ahead and do that meat comparison again. There's a lot of studies that say red meat can actually increase your chances of getting cancer, okay? Uh, this is a cholesterol-free food. Not only is it a cholesterol-free food, compare that to meat, which will increase your cholesterol. Um, there's also, sorry, I always forget this word, so I gotta look at my notes. There's also beta-glucans, um, which will decrease your cholesterol after you eat it. So there's no cholesterol in it. Then it will help you fight cholesterol after you eat it compared to meat, which is actually going to increase your cholesterol. So again, oatmeal is fantastic. I like to throw some fruit on there, whether it be grapes, whether it be raisins. I like to throw essential oils on there, cinnamon essential oils, or just sprinkle essential oils on there. Um, I love oatmeal with coconut water. Your milks out there, your soy milks, your nut milks, they're really good if you make them homemade, but if not, they, they're probably gonna have carrageenan in them, they're probably gonna have sweeteners in them. Um, so I just like to pour some 
coconut water on some oatmeal, throw in a little bit of sweetener, whether that be fruit or whether that be cinnamon, and it's absolutely delicious. It's a staple of my diet. Go ahead, go out there, buy some oatmeal because you've only got one body. You got to take care of it. Have a good one, y'all.